Hello friend, welcome to Marine Engineering Hub. Today, I am going to talk about cylinder liner wear. But before starting the video, let me tell you that I have made two video before that which cover the topic of cylinder liner construction and second one about the bore cooling. So please do watch these two video before beginning the, this video as the video will be correlated and one more thing you will get a clear idea of the liner okay so this is a part 3 in which I am going to cover type of cylinder liner wear so basically the liner wear can be divided into three part corrosion wear abrasion wear and adhesive wear in corrosion wear it can be subdivided into cold corrosion and clover leaping okay after that let me talk let me tell you that normal wear rate of a two stroke crosshair engine and medium stroke engine basically in two stroke crosshair engine the normal wear rate which is acceptable by the manufacturer is 0 0.05 mm per thousand hour running hour and for medium stroke engine pardon me for the spelling mistake is 0 0.015 mm per thousand running hour so these are the normal wear rate which is acceptable by the manufacturer for two stroke and four stroke engine okay so let's begin the type of wear with the corrosion wear first so in corrosion wear i am going to first talk about cold corrosion basically the cold corrosion occur in the lower part of the liner okay due to the formation of sulfuric acid but how this sulfuric acid is formed let me tell you okay basically what happened fuel contain sulfur okay that sulfur is converted into sulfur dioxide during combustion purpose and as the sulfur dioxide is converted and the water present in the air mix with that sulfur dioxide it's formed sulfuric acid and that sulfuric acid tend to adhere on the liner surface and on the ring surface of the of the wall line surface wall and that as you know that sulfuric acid is very corrosive in nature and causes corrosion okay but this sulfuric acid will cause corrosion when it fall its temperature fall below the dew point okay for cold corrosion to take place temperature must fall below the dew point okay and as all we know that the temperature to fall below the dew point the temperature must be lower enough so basically the cold corrosion occur on the lower part of the liner why because on top part of the liner due to combustion high temperature is high temperature surrounding is present there okay on the top part of the liner to and therefore the temp the cold corrosion cannot take place but in the lower part of the liner near the scavenge space the temperature fall below the dew point and cold corrosion occur okay uh, for giving example let me tell you that suppose that if uh, as we know that uh, 130 bar around pressure is present on the top part of the liner okay and uh, corresponding the dew point required for a sul for a sulfur sulfuric acid is around 175 degrees celsius but that dew point temperature is reduced to 140 degrees celsius at a 5 bar around the lower part of the liner so basically by this example you can see that with decrease in the pressure the dew point temperature also decreases and a favorable condition is reached at the lower part of the liner causing cold corrosion as we all know near scavenge space or in lower part of the liner temperature and pressure both are lower and hence favorable condition for cold corrosion occur okay to prevent this cold corrosion different manufacturer have employed different thing as in bore cooling video i have shown you the haramaki insulation and the man bmw has employed the bind 
blind hole and steel insertion tube. These are the method which has been employed by MAN BMW engine and soldier engine to prevent coal corrosion. Okay, so to prevent coal corrosion, Haramaki insulation in soldier engine and cooling board insert are used in the MAN BMW engine to prevent the coal corrosion. Okay, now let's see what is global lipping. So basically, what happened? The quills are provided all around the cylinder liner surface. Okay, and the high TBN oil is been injected through these quills so that it can neutralize the sulfuric content present in the combustion to prevent acid attack. But as you know, up from after the point of injection, the oil TBN gradually decreases as it moves away from the surface. And as slowly it moves, a TBN get depleted enough that the area, some area left where the acid attack occur, and hence a corrosion take place. This form a pattern like a leaf. Okay, as you can see, this means if this is the injection point after the oil is been injected the oil tbn is getting depleted as it moved down the lane and after that what happened that after that as you can see here that corrosion is occurring okay so global loving global leafing is a form of acid attack which occur due to depletion of oil tbn as it move away from the injection point as i have told you oil is injected by lubricating quills in the circumferential direction the spreading of the oil is carried out by pistoning all over the liner surface now suppose the global leaping has take place to overcome the global leaping we have to make sure that the proper honing of the liner wall is to be carried out so that lube oil retention can be Establish again after global lipping. As you can see in this diagram, this is the global lipping. This is the injection point, and you, as you can see here, the global lipping has taken place. Okay, global injection point, and this is the where global lipping has taken place. Okay, as the oil get depleted, the acid attack increases, which causes corrosion and that is called global lipping thank you friend as the video is getting longer i am going to explain the abrasion and micro scissor in my next video thank you for watching please do like and subscribe my video image kit goes to marinediesel.uk thank you friend